Today is the anniversary of D-Day, 80 years ago, and the World War II veterans are back to the beaches of Normandy. World War II veterans are joining heads of state and others on the beaches of Normandy to commemorate the 80th anniversary of D-Day. Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you very much for joining me. For those surviving veterans, I want to give thanks for your commitment, yeah, your support, your loyalty, your patriotism. Sadly, I have to tell you that one of those veterans who was on his way from New York died while traveling to France for D-Day commemoration. He was 102 years old. He witnessed the raising of the U.S. flag at Iwo Jima and tragically died while he was en route to France. Robert Percy Chichet of Fairport, New York, suffered a medical emergency and died in a hospital in Germany um, Friday, last Friday. The Navy vet who had flown overseas with a group uh, tied to the National World War II Museum was on a ship sailing down the coast of Normandy ahead of today's D-Day events when he suddenly fell ill and had to be airlifted to the hospital. My thoughts and prayers go to his family. They must still be very proud of his service. He was among the dwindling numbers of surviving U.S. veterans who are making the pilgrimage to the Normandy beaches uh, today, this week, to mark the anniversary of June 6, 1944 invasion that helped bring about the end of World War II. This invasion led to the defeat of the Nazis and the end of the war. The assault began with the Allied aircraft bombing a German defense in Normandy, followed by around 1,200 aircraft that carried airborne troops. At dawn, Allied forces started bombing German coastal defenses, and shortly after that, vessels began pulling troops ashore, or putting troops ashore, on five codenamed beaches. Those codenamed beaches was Utah, Omaha, Gold, Juno, and Sword. Over 160,000 Allied troops landed on the beaches of Normandy. Many of the Allied planes were painted black with white stripes on the wings, uh, fuselages, and tails on each one. Every single plane on D-Day had stripes to reduce the risk of friendly fire. British planes flew across the beaches almost 20 times until they ran out of bombs and ammunition and then went back to reload. On the return trip across the channel, uh, the shoreline looked very different. All you saw was bodies, according to one of those on the aircraft. Those that survived the invasion, yeah, it's heartbreaking. And they often say that it was such a horrible sight that uh, they can't get out of their minds. Hundreds of dead bodies floating in the surf. The uh, water turned red with blood. The Allies knew that if they didn't go to invade France, Hitler was ready to invade England next. Winston Churchill, who was head of the uh, military defense, um, had a fight with those in his own political government. They wanted to try and make peace terms with Hitler. He knew that they couldn't. More than 4,000 Allies, including 2,500 Americans, died, according to the U.S. National D-Day Memorial Foundation. Uh, many thousands more were wounded. From a strategic perspective, Operation Overlord was critical for opening up a second front to rid the Nazi occupation from France and to put massive pressure on Hitler's Germany from both West and East. This will be more than likely the last large gathering of the greatest generation. Many of them now nearly 100 years old. The 10-day trip is just too much of an undertaking, both emotionally and physically. After the landing, ration boxes were distributed amongst uh, different people who lived there in France. What they did was barter with them. This is something to think about when you're stocking up or you should be stocking up things to barter with. 
what they had was um, boxes of cigarettes, chocolate, coffee, and sugar. And they traded for wine, bread, and eggs. General Dwight D. Eisenhower, the Supreme Commander of the Allied Expeditionary Forces, um, gave a message to the troops on June 6, 1944. Germany had about four years that they had prepared for the invasion. Um, Eisenhower said, The eyes of the world are upon you. The hopes and prayers of liberty, loving people, everywhere march with you. Your task will not be an easy one. Your enemy is well-trained, well-equipped, and battle-hardened. Like I said, they had four years to get ready. Um, he will fight savagely. Going on, he said, I have full confidence in your courage, devotion to duty, and skill in battle. We will accept nothing less than full victory. Yeah, it's a completely different world nowadays. Besides the 160,000 Allied troops that landed on the 50-mile stretch of the heavily fortified French coastline, they also sent more than 5,000 sh ships and 13,000 aircraft that supported the D-Day invasion. Before the invasion, air and sea components played a major role. Over 12,000 planes from the Allied Air Forces swept the German um, air defense from the skies while Allied ships protected the English Channel. Over 1,000 transports dropped 23,400 al Allied airborne troops over Normandy. Their mission was to secure the flanks and beach exits of the assault area. There was a recent movie I watched about Churchill, how he had been requesting um, military support from different countries, um, aircraft and tanks and things like that. Um, he had asked Canada for um, aircraft, and um, Canada at first refused to get involved in the war. And then later, at least from my understanding of the movie, they made the aircraft but would not transport the aircraft um, there to um, England. So what they had agreed upon was to take the aircraft across the border into the United States where, where Winston Churchill uh, was required to go and um, get the planes. I guess Canada wanted to remain neutral the Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor on December 7, 1941 ended the debate over the Americans' intervention in both the Pacific and the European theaters of World War II. The following April of 19, um, I believe it was 42, President Woodrow Wilson asked Congress for a declaration of war against Germany. Largely, largely in response to Berlin's policy of unrestricted submarine warfare, sinking merchant ships without warning. The declaration was passed by 82 votes, 2 and 6 in the Senate, and by 373 to 50 in the House of Representatives. Yeah, so what are your thoughts? Once again, I want to thank the Patriots who did support our war efforts there during um, D-Day and all the other battles that they went through. So, so few of them are still alive. Thank you and God bless and thank you to their families. Uh, what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you all. Bye.